Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Keondis. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new, please consider subscribing and tap the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Right now we are on our way to dance class, but I wanted to introduce the vlog because I be forgetting, but I'll call y'all back when we get back. So we're back from dance class. I'm in the closet, by the way, because I'm about to clean it out. But before I do, I purchased a wide angle lens for this camera during prom day. And I ended up getting two of them because I didn't read the reviews thoroughly on the first one. This is the first one I purchased. And I'm returning it because the only way this can stick to the camera is with a piece of adhesive tape. And I don't really want to damage the lens because you know what? If I want to change it out. This is the one I'll be keeping, though. This is the newer lens. And it screws on somehow. So I think... That's a much better alternative and won't ruin or damage the lens when trying to remove it. So this is how I look crops in. <laughs> Let me see if there's a difference. And this is what it looks like with the wide angle lens. You can definitely see more of the background, which was the goal. I'm not all up in your grill and you ain't all up in mine. So I love that for the both of us. I'll link both of the lenses in the description box and in my Amazon storefront for you to make your decision if you're, you know, interested in the market for a little wide angle lens for your Sony ZV-1 or whatever. And um, again, I recommend the newer one because that's what I'm using. It was easy to assemble and I don't have to worry about it sticking to the lens directly like with that other one but again it's, it's your choice girl it's your choice oh and the lens does make the camera a little bit heavier but that's to be expected with the added lens i'm really over here just talking because i really don't want to do this closet but it needs to get done i've been putting it off for a little it, that ain't none of your business but just know I, i've been putting it off so let me get this done i probably won't finish today but i'm gonna get as much done as i can so you know, you know, you know, that you do. Just a phase, I'll make you want to have to eat. Just a smile. I drive you crazy for a while. Then I told you nothing wrong with me, yeah. Love, did you know, no, 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 all right i'm still alive so i did all my shirts but i'm actually gonna move these over here because i decided to hang my bottoms and i want them to go over here so they can have more hanging room Whew, honey i am i'm making progress <laughs> let me get back to it don't distract me 
Of course I wait for mine Reminds me of this place in line My man, back at the nine to five, just trying to make things work. What are the odds of me bumping into you again? One in a million. So this is our stopping point for the day. Got a lot accomplished, made a lot of progress, but I don't know if y'all can hear these kids in the background. They they going crazy, duty calls. So need to go be a mama, but tomorrow I'm definitely gonna be trying on some jeans because I know I had this many jeans. Who needs this many jeans? I just finished filming a back to school haul for Eden and when I tell y'all I'm tired, I'm scratched, my eye is jumping. It, I think I, I bust a, a vessel or something. It's red. I, I, that was horrible. That was horrible. Enjoy it because that may be the only one y'all ever get. I want cookies. I want cookies. This is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. She's so We'll feel it. I don't mean. In this room. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold a hand and don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach like the angel. You know, big glow, Cheyenne. How to hold a pretty end up to the sky And I'm a wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher Higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her Kennedy got some serious FOMO, I think Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up. Cupcakes from the Royal Bakery. Full of germs. Right here's like the morning. Good morning. It's time for dance. It's time for dance. Then we're going to the family reunion. You're going. How many of family want it? Yep, that's it. But like she said, y'all heard my baby. Y'all heard her. We're on our way to dance. And then right after that, we have it on the road and going to my family reunion. Now listen, I love my family. But I have really been hoping and praying this thing was going to be canceled all week because I don't feel like driving three hours. Three hours with two kids in the back seat. If you a parent, you know, you already know. This is not about to be no three hour trip. This is about to have some time added because you got to stop and it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Banana, if you watching this, this is for you. Anything, anything for my nana. Anything for my nana. Just 
of getting my life together. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Decided to actually slick my hair back because sometimes when you work remotely, you look like you work remotely and you get tired of looking how you look. And so I put in some effort this morning. Anyways, I mentioned a few vlogs back that I am in a season of contentment when it comes to the house because I want to move. But I think the only reason I want to move is because I'm used to moving. Prior to closing on our house, I was on apartment number 10. I like I like seeing different things and I don't mind switching things up. So being here almost four years has really been an adjustment for me. I love my house, but you know, I, I just I just needed some change. So I said that I was gonna start like redecorating in order to feel like things are changing. I done painted this wall blue. I don't know if y'all remember a few vlogs back, it was probably what was it? It was green. <laughs> it was green. But now I wanna paint it again. I want it to be just white or black whatever anyways my main focus right now is on the living room and one of the biggest changes has already been made so let me show y'all real quick ouch i hit my leg <laughs> i don't know let me close this door so the biggest change that has been made so far is the fireplace wall is now black before we moved in there was nothing there so i had boo and a crew put up gray airstone and the gray was cute in its season but now in my season of contentment we wanted this wall black so boo got up there he did the majority you know he won his credit he did the majority but you see them crisp lines around the edges i'm responsible for those okay because you know we clean up our husband's mess that's what we ribs do but yeah he did the majority of the wall there you go <laughs> Yeah, but I really like the black wall. I think it really pops and Boo likes it too. Them the only two opinions that matter around here because we live here. <laughs> Next major thing on the list will be switching out this ceiling fan for a chandelier. I already purchased the chandelier on um, Amazon's wagon wheel chandelier and I'm excited about having that installed in the next few weeks. I reached out to the electrician who installed that light fixture above our dining room table. But my cousin actually may be able to do this. So, you know, that's how to rich stay rich, keep it in the family. I also want to have three pendant lights added above the kitchen island. So that'll be after that. And I want to tackle the booby light. <laughs> I feel like I'll be able to do that with a YouTube video. But we shall see. All right, y'all, I had to sit down and put the baby to sleep. So if you hear snoring, you know what it is. But of course, we want to switch out these pillows, but it's not really a priority right now because the seasons are about to change. These are about to be Christmas pillows, fall pillows. So again, it's not really a priority. We'll worry about that towards the top of next year, but that's not going to keep me out the stores looking and perusing because I like to look and peruse. So if I see something in between time, I'm just going to get it and put it in storage. But I'm very excited about all the updates. 
All the fixtures changing. This beautiful black wall for a beautiful black queen. You better let them know. I may want to move because that's what I'm used to doing. It is a seller's market. We can get a lot for this house, but where are we going to go? <laughs> Rent is high. So I'm going to walk with expectancy, be grateful for what I have, be a good steward of what I have, and just sit back and let the Lord do what he do because I don't know if y'all can tell I am one of his favorites. He just be blessing me just just because, just because he, he loves me so, so much, and I love him right back. But yeah. That's it. That's all. That's all the updates so far. And I'll keep y'all updated when some else changes, maybe. If I feel like it. <laughs> Not for real. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so I'm about to moisturize my hair because, well, you see why. Looking for my Q-Redo because don't nothing do me like my Q-Redo do me. Where is it? <laughs> So my key redo is on this last leg. Like when I go to plug it in, it may or may not blow out steam, but I just have not taken the plunge to, you know, purchase a new one because the possibility is there that it's gonna work when I plug it in. But uh key redo, if you watch these, <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> you know what to do, okay? Now, let me go ahead and oh. All right, it's ready. I'm ready for you. You ready for me? We ready for each other. Oof. So y'all can see a little bit of the before, okay? See what we were doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But let me show you how we add a little moisture with our key redo. All right, so here we go. Lord, please let it, please let it blow. Let it blow, Lord. Huh. Yeah, I'm saying. You can't tell me my God ain't good. <laughs> That's one thing you can't do, okay? You can't tell me he ain't good. in Christ he saved my life he sacrificed his own for mine so I'm diligent and obedient or at least I try I wish I had a dime for the times I've been criticized <laughs> you didn't see my walk I don't think you bought me this. I bought you something like that. You bought me uh, that, 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 that blow dry. Yeah, the blow dry. I still use it. That man never your Christmas list was reasonable. First of all, my Christmas list is still reasonable. Christmas. Some diamond earrings. <laughs> Moisture Bamboo and Coconut Milk Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner from Talia Wajid. It says for protective styles, but can I be using this just to be using it? And it works very well. Very, very well. Don't you know I'm a homebody? Don't leave my home for nobody. Bible studies, over parties, any day, any way. Wishing love and light to friends of mine who are And on top of that, I'm gonna put this curling cream. Oh, find happiness, hope they find their way in to life, to Christ. Rely on the most high. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nothing but love. 
See the difference between hydrate and not so much. <laughs> Let me twist this one up first before I bring you out to play. <clears throat> no, I asked. I had to run to the phone because Kennedy in there sleeping. The iPad was uh, singing, so I was about to drop off at your house for waking up. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Can you buy me a new Q Redo? Can you buy me a new Q Redo? What's your Q Redo? My steamer. <laughs> I have had it for a long time. And she don't be trying to smoke. She don't be trying to blow out the smoke no more. She said she I'm not ready to let her go. <laughs> I'm not ready. I have to put vinegar in it because I was looking on, on the, the site to see, you know, what happens if it stops blowing out smoke. And just like do a vinegar rinse, and I, I did that. That's how it came back to life. But now I feel like my hair gonna be smelling like vinegar. I mean, I'm still smelling right now, but the steam smell a little vinegarish. Bath and Body Works. You gonna help me? <laughs> I just got back from Bath and Body Works and I picked up quite a few new scents that I've never tried before. I like spicy warm scents that um, lean more on the side of masculine so I picked up quite a few of those with the exception of one and of course I re-upped on some of my staples so let me show y'all what I got. Excuse me ma'am. Can, can I do it? Here you take that one. We'll talk about that one later. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me go ahead and take everything out of the bag to make life easier. So I got Sunrise Woods, Bergamot, Turmeric, Leather and Brandy, Warm Amber and Cedar, Red Cherry and Oud, White Orchid Woods, Terracotta Canyon, Cozy Cashmere, Jade Oasis, and this was not really masculine, but I still wanted to try it. This is Rose and Amber. She's not giving it up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Rose and Amber, and for my staples, got Mahogany Apple, Mahogany Teakwood, Lanol, Sweater Weather, Sweet Sandalwood, Eucalyptus Mint, Japanese Cherry Blossom, and Marshmallow Fireside. Yep, that's all we got from Bath and Body Works, and we about to put you down for a nap, ma'am. <laughs> Did you scratch your face? That's your dry snot. You're disgusting. You're just disgusting. How's life treating you? You ain't got no beef. Okay. <laughs> 
Took down with Felicia braids. Still soft, moisturized. Don't feel dry. So, <laughs> let's slap this up with some lip gloss. It's really good. Really good. Feel it's really good. Feel it's good. Good, 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 it, it, it's it's hot out here. <laughs> it's hot. I'm on my way to Walmart right now to get a couple onions because I want to try the onion juice recipe and I need some aloe vera juice as well. So let's go. pop on camera real quick because I'm done up <laughs> I ain't got nothing to talk about I'm just done up I just want y'all to see <laughs> I just want y'all to see okay I'm gonna talk to y'all later <laughs> I think of you every day Think of you summer times Think of you rainy days Think of you on my mind You don't, you don't, you don't You been running through my mind all day Because I think of you every day Think of you summer times Think of you rainy days Think of you on my mind
Lee is them. Is Lee is them. Okay, so I'm not coming on camera because, you know, there's nothing to see here. But I did want y'all to see this weather, though. It is September the 11th. And we got some 70s and some 80s coming, honey. Look at us. Look at us. Don't worry about that 91. Don't, don't worry about that 96. But in between time, we got 80s. We got 70s. The Lord is hearing our cry. We even got rain. Don't don't play with it. Don't play with it. Oh, we can go back outside because if you're from here, you you know we don't we don't do something of every well. We we stay we stay inside. Mm hmm mm hmm But <laughs> you can find me at your nearest pumpkin patch. Ooh. <laughs> you cheat. Happy Sunday, party people. It is about four days before fall, and I'm about to start decorating. Listen, my stuff would have been up by now, but you know, I've been up in the sky and going on trips and things, so I'm a little bit behind schedule. I'm slipping on my pimping, but we're about to start now, okay? All right. Garland was created by Key Lolo's Balloonery. Our motto is we keep it popping. Ooh. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
hey, I wanted to pop on real quick and give y'all a proper close. And between you and me, I started this vlog back in July. Today is October the 22nd. That's why I'm gonna be putting dates on the screen because y'all don't need to know that. I've shown y'all all the things. Y'all have seen my home updates. Y'all have seen me decorate, a, decorate for fall. Right now, I'm at the stores getting Christmas decor. And my baby turned one last weekend. If I haven't put that clip in yet, y'all will see it after this one. But either way, if you made it this far, go ahead and tell Kenny Rose happy birthday in the comments. She can't read yet, but I'll I, I let her know what you said, all right? Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with all your people. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later.